it's running. We got Ralph Snoo over here. Uh oh. All right, so my GoPro decided it just didn't want to work today, so kind of doing it, well, half-ass at this point. How you doing? I want to show you this rebuilt uh, alternator from a place called Ralph's, which is here in Tampa, and I'm going to give them a plug because they know what they're doing. This is a quality rebuild uh, alternator. I mean, they cleaned it up. They rebuilt the whole thing. we got to test it to see if, see, there's our voltage sitting to see if that regulator over there is uh, working. You know, because now we know that this this thing is good. Now we're gonna just gonna find out if anything else, if anything else is bad in the system. So we're gonna start it up, take a peek at it, and uh, go from there. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start the sucker up, and uh, God, thank God my arms are long, I guess and uh, see what we got. So we're checking to see. Oh, we got big squirts there. Okay, so we're gonna give this thing a whirl. There we go, not bad. All right, so it's running. We got Ralph Snoo over here. Uh oh. That was not great. That was not great at all. Stop running. Not good. I don't have my jump box with me. I forgot to bring it. Oh, that's a bad sign. Something is not right. Something is not going well. I smell something cooking. That's the same voltage it had before. Oh, I'm confused. Very, very, very confused. <sighs> Got 12.3 volts. It started, but now it doesn't want to. I smell. I don't smell it anymore. It smelled like electrical, but I'm not. It, I'm not sure what it was. So we're gonna try this again. Oh, of course. You know, this is about Dan Murphy and Murphy's Law. Um, of course. 
So let me see if, uh, if I can get five jumpers on me. Okay. So I'm gonna have some really lousy footage with my camera because my GoPro decided, yeah, you know, not really want to work all day today. So we have a good rebuilt alternator from that is from Ralph's uh, over uh, in Tampa. I'll give them a plug because they know what they're doing. Same cost as actually buying one of those ones made in Mexico, but this was actually done correctly. Everything was replaced in it, and. We have a brand new regulator. That one is uh, some Chinesium. Hopefully we'll be fine. So uh, we're gonna give it a whirl and see what happens when we uh, start it up and uh, go from there. So I might have to jump it though because we have 12 and a half volts and uh, she seems very unhappy. So we'll, uh, we'll give it a whirl. Oh yeah, look. And nice and all the there's still stuff strewn everywhere from the hurricane it's been fabulous okay let's take a let's take this thing and uh, light this let's light this candle you know like every re like every revival thing you got going on um things don't work out right right now it won't start uh, it's either the starter has a flat spot in it or the relay's gone bad but it refuses to i had it I had jumper cables on it and it had over 13 volts and it won't start. So we're kind of dead in the water right now. Uh, yeah, but I think the charging system's fixed. So there's that, I guess. But, uh, yeah, so got that that we have 12 and a half volts i mean it should start this car but it it just does not want to turn over at all so uh you know comment if you think if you agree with me that it's the uh relay that's uh making it just kind of go bleh, bleh, or is it just the starter completely just died because why not just to make my life more fun and difficult because changing a starter in the parking lot can't be that that bad right right like i don't even know where it is i think i guess it's on the other side great yeah there's gonna be uh some required reading i guess tonight because this is this is what it does all right that's it with a battery so I'm, I'm guessing starter or the relay and uh yeah so we're not tackling that today because we still have over 12 volts it should at least spin nope and i don't have my jump box with me and the little e36 tried so and i mean it had 13 and a half volts or 13.25 i guess so we're, here we are once again, barely moving forward with this uh, Tornado, but moving forward, I guess. Oh, well, so uh, let me know if you got anything from this. I got a lot from this that like literally prepare for the worst in any situation. And, uh, you know, comment, of course, once again, comment and uh, please, uh, like, subscribe, do those things that the thing says below, and uh, I'll catch you next time. And as always, if you have a cool classic car or something fun to drive, take it out. It'll make someone's day, maybe even your own, and I'll catch you down, well, tomorrow or the day after. Bye.